Well, sad to say, it has been one busy year for scam artists here in Metro Detroit. And Help Me Hank has been sounding the alarm because we want you to be able to protect your money. That we do. And tonight, consumer investigator Hank Winchester has a roundup of scams you need to watch out for because they really never go away. In 2015, we heard from way too many people losing way too much money to scammers. We're hoping this story will help you steer clear of crooks looking to rip you off. Lies, promises, and pressure. Those are the tools scammers use to take your money and rip you off. You might get tricked no matter how smart you think you are. I've never been fooled in my entire life. Ralph Dallow owns a pizza place in Leonard, Michigan. He lost $1,700 to someone claiming to be from DTE. He was told pay up or face a shutoff. Because I know if I get shut off, that means I'm out of business. He now knows legitimate companies never call out of the blue and demand immediate payment. I don't know why anybody would do that to someone else. Sarah Lang of Frazier fell for a deal that was too good to be true. Someone claiming to be with Comcast offered her a big special promotion. They said that the promotion was being offered to customers that were loyal customers. But there was a catch. Lang was told that she had to pay $420 up front. That is a big sign of trouble. Before you ever pay for something up front, find a legitimate number for Comcast or any other company to check it out. I would be willing to make a phone call every day to save $400 from, a, from giving it to a scam artist. Also, be very leery of people who call claiming they need to fix your computer. Ask for a number that you can call them back or do an internet search. You'll probably confirm it's actually a scam. I googled that phone number and found a whole list of people who had been contacted by this lady. Once you know someone is trying to rip you off, report it to the Better Business Bureau Scam Tracker. It's a great resource to see where scams are now making the rounds, but it only works if we all report the scams that are out there right now. I'm imploring everybody to, I don't care if you think that somebody else has done it. If you think you've been scammed, please log it in. I've posted a list of the most common scams reported to Help Me Hank this year, plus advice on how you can fight back. Look for all the information on my Help Me Hank page. It's at clickondetroit.com. I'm Hank Winchester. Help Me Hank, back to you. Okay, Hank, thank you. And if you have a consumer problem you'd like Hank to investigate, call 313-298-WDIV. Send an email to helpmehank at clickondetroit.com. Send a message on Facebook, or you can reach him on Twitter.